Hey there, movie buffs. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane as we dive into the captivating world of drive-in movie theaters. From the 1930s to the 1950s, these iconic venues provided endless entertainment and unforgettable experiences for families and couples alike. It all started in 1933 when Richard Hollingshead opened the very first patented drive-in theater in New Jersey. With space for 400 vehicles, Hollingshead aimed to solve the problem of uncomfortable movie theater seats by offering a spacious and welcoming environment for all. He wanted families to feel at home, regardless of how noisy the children were. The success of Hollingshead's drive-in sparked a nationwide trend, with drive-ins popping up in every state and even spreading internationally. Fast forward to the 1950s and 60s, and drive-ins reached their peak popularity, capturing the hearts of the baby boomer generation. Imagine a time when there were over 4,000 drive-ins scattered across the United States, most of them nestled in rural areas. These outdoor theaters became the go-to destination for families looking to spend quality time together and couples searching for a romantic and affordable date night. Of course, drive-ins had their fair share of challenges. The sound quality was often a bit off, with a frustrating time delay between the screen and the speakers in the back. But hey, they found solutions. First, they added more speakers, then they introduced clip-on car speakers, and eventually, they started broadcasting the soundtrack directly to car radios. Innovation at its finest. One of the biggest advantages of the drive-in experience was the privacy it offered. No more shushing the kids or worrying about disturbing others. It was the perfect setting for a date night, combining entertainment, darkness, and privacy all within the confines of your car. However, as with any good thing, there were downsides too. Drive-ins gained a somewhat notorious reputation, as some theaters began showing exploitation films and adult content to make up for lost revenue. Additionally, the rise of VCRs made it more tempting for people to stay at home and enjoy movies without leaving their couches. Sadly, drive-ins slowly started to lose their appeal. Maintaining a drive-in required a significant amount of land, usually around 15 acres. As economics shifted, many drive-ins closed down to make way for malls and multi-building complexes. But fear not. Despite their decline, there are still drive-ins in business today, keeping the nostalgic spirit alive. So, whether you're reminiscing about the good old days or discovering the magic of drive-ins for the first time, join us on this journey through rare photographs and untold stories. Let's celebrate the era of drive-in movie theaters and their everlasting impact on American culture. Lights, camera, action.